Hello world and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. My name is Kelthos and in the last episode we had spent the entire episode um, looting Treno and buying some things we needed and then we met up with Dagger in the auction house and she saw Kuja up there on the on the balcony and then after that we we played as Dagger and went and met up with the rest of Tantalus and we were going to sneak into this shop and steal super soft but Dr. Tot spotted us and recognized the princess and talked to her and he told us to meet her at the tower to meet him at the tower and he would give us the super soft there so then we left there and then we went around Treno and were uh, synthesizing stuff we did the cotton robe trick again to give us some more money and then we synthesized some stuff that we needed and we bought some more stuff that we needed and in this episode we're going to continue on and do a couple more optional things and then we're going to move on with the story so here we go the first thing we got to do is equip steiner with some things we want to even though he's still learning stuff i know uh he needs the blood sword actually he can just have the blood sword because He's already learned what he needs from that other one. And even though he's still learning alert, he's going to... Where's the gold choker at? Does somebody else have it? Oh, okay. I hope not. Son of a bitch. Hang on. I realized we don't have a gold choker, so we're going to synthesize one because we need it in the next battle, and we need it for the abilities anyway. We're going to switch out his... Dramina boots or Gramina boots or however you pronounce it with the choker and then we are going to um, uh, switch it back when he's done and we need to equip some abilities we need to equip bird killer on him if he doesn't already have it equipped I think he already does yes he does all right now we need to go to the weapon shop be right back oh my god I almost committed the greatest sin and went in there Ugh. All right, here we go. Cha -ching. What can I do for you? What's that monster down there? The master of the Knight family who owns this building keeps that monster as a pet. He likes to see people challenge it and get beat up. I want to fight that monster. Are you sure? I can't guarantee your safety. He's pretty easy, by the way, as long as you equip the blood sword on, Sta on Steiner and Bird Killer. And then we're gonna fight as Steiner, of course. <clears throat> that would hurt the ankles landing like that. Unless it's not that big of a job. Alright. And then we are going to kill you. Come on. Attack. I kill you. What? You can't do that. That's a second level spell. Owie. It wasn't that bad. We will attack you again. I kill you. Come on. It's slow. There we go. That's better. Level one. Could do even less. Eh, slightly. Bam! Yeah, yeah! We won! Da -da -da. Did we get anything for that? Wow, I can't believe it! Here's your prize! Tonberry card! Yay! Just what I didn't fucking want. I thought it would be a better prize than that. <laughs> I didn't look what the prize would be on the walk walkthrough. But, oh well. Okay, and before we move on with the game, we are going to go back to Dolly and get 99 wrists again so that we can prepare ourselves for the cotton robe trick again, and I went the wrong way. But yeah, I'm going to cut to when we're buying those wrists. Be right back. Woot! More experience! And more gill and some ore. Woot! More experience and more gill. Hello there, I have come back to obsessively buy your wrists. Not your actual wrists, mind you, but 99 of these. Okay, na na na, there we go. Goodbye. Back to Treno. 
Da -da -da. I forgot to switch back to these, but I did just now, so. He could go ahead and wear this chainmail too because he's already learned what he needs to learn. And I have two of those. So. And I forgot to equip this to her, Insomniac, and she needs to equip that as well. I forgot to equip that to her, the bone thingamabobber. She's still learning stuff on that, and she can switch something out here. She needs this kaboot, kakoot, kakushka. Jeez, can't speak. Okay, and Dagger is for sure going to equip this Insomniac, so that means she needs to get rid of this antibody because nobody's poisoning her right now. Because I don't want my mages to be able to be asleep or silenced. Silence is more important, but, you know. Yay, more experience, more gill. Okay, there's fi we're finally back in Cherno, so now we can continue on with the game by going this way. Hello, you. I saw him. I saw an old man wearing glasses walking out of this tower. This is big. Because <laughs> it's been locked for so long or something. Mithril dagger. And then we're going to go in here. It's a mithril version of dagger. Ha 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 ha. I'm hilarious. <clears throat> oh. There's Dr. Tot staring out a full moon. Dr. Tot. Climb up the stairs. Oh, Princess, thank you for coming. Welcome to my humble abode. This is your home? I traveled quite far in search of a sponsor for my research after I departed Alexandria. I finally found one here in Reno in Trino. Trino. You have grown into a fine young woman. I am pleased to see you again. Dr. Todd, you look quite well. Ah, Master Steiner, you are escorting the princess? Yes, sir. I deeply regret my earlier actions. Still a straight arrow, aren't you? I'm sure you had your reasons, but I won't ask why. The super soft is in the box right there. Please take it. Don't mind if I do. Have you no manners? Thank the good doctor. It's quite all right, Master Steiner. I told him to take it anyway, you dick. <laughs> Now I can save my bro. I can't believe I must travel with with a lowly criminal. I can't believe you're still on about it. Master Todd, is this Gaia? Yes, it's a globe of our planet, Gaia. I remember your lessons. You remember the ramblings of an old fool. Two phrases are commonly found in documents more than 500 years old. One is a jewel. The other is Summoner's Tribe. But 500 years ago, the phrase has mysteriously vanished from history. The archaeologist Frederick Ash theorized that a jewel refers to the pendant passed down to the ruler of Alexandria. Is the sound supposed to be off? Let me see if my freaking thing went down again. It didn't. This is weird. Hopefully you guys can hear me. If not, I'm going to have to re-record this whole thing, and it's going to be a pain in the ass. But the pendant, it is much too small to be referring to the same jewel. Other research suggests a relationship between Edelons and magical stones. Dr. Tot. Ah, princess. Were you reading big books again? Ha ha ha. I've already read every book in this library. But I think better when I'm surrounded by old books. Really? I don't like books. You're a person of dignity. It is imperative that you study hard and pretend to like books, even if you don't. I know, I know. But I was quite taken... But I was... Oh, but I was quite taken by that book you gave me. What was it called? It was... It was I Want to Be Your Canary by Lord Avon? Oh, yes, that's the one. So there are books I like, after all. My, my. What's this, Dr. Tot? That's a globe of Gaia. It's a model of our planet. A Gaia globe? I never knew our castle was shaped like a sphere. Ha ha ha. We live on the surface, princess. Hmm? Ah yes, the stars. They inspired the theories relating to stones and edelons. Edelons. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm just going to pronounce it the way I think it is. That is why... Oh, sorry. I was lost in thought again. 
it's okay. You do that all the time. <laughs> Where's my room on this globe? Oh, your room is much too small to point out on this globe. What about the castle? That I can do. Oh, and Uncle Sid's castle? How long has it been? Eight years? Time passes quickly. But I, but I haven't changed. I continue to collect and research these items. Where did you find this globe? It's an antique. It's broken, as you can see, but I use it as an observation deck. I, ironic, isn't it? Looking up at the sky from inside a globe. It sure is. Princess, I don't mean to meddle in your affairs, but I'm going to anyway. I'm on your side now and forever. Please tell me if there's anything I can do. Dr. Tot? <laughs> I see. So the Queen's forces have already grown quite powerful. Okay then. It may be dangerous, but I shall see to it that you reach Alexandria. How? I had an old transportation device remodeled in case of such an emergency. This way, please. Ah, we can finally return to Alexandria. I'm coming with you. What? Why? I can reach Blankmore easily from Alexandria. That's true, the evil force isn't that far away. Yes, come with us, Marcus. Okay, Steiner? Grrr. Let's go save Blank and restore my mother to her former self. I don't know if we can restore her to her former self, but we can go save Blank. Alright, onward. Alright, onward we go. Whoops, I climbed out back. Hello. Please be equipped for battle. There are monsters underground. Please take the ladder inside the hole when you're ready. We're ready now. Because we just bought and equipped stuff. Bargain Roo. This is Gargan Roo, an ancient travel route between Trino and Alexandria. Why was this thing built under a tower? Actually, Gargan Roo was in use long before even the invention of airships. The tower was built on top of it, on top of this disused tunnel. But it looks fairly new. I convinced Mr. Bishop to keep this place intact. I haven't used it since it was remodeled, mind you. We must first activate the tunnel connection sequence and call the Gargant inside. Let's see, where was that trigger sequence? So all we have to do is find the trigger sequence? Princess, let us find it. And this place is supposed to be like the best grinding place in the game according to the walkthrough because you can just go right up there and heal and you're supposed to level up for a little bit and then um, kill off Dagger and Steiner and level Marcus because his stats will, will uh, transfer to a character we're going to meet later on um, but his levels won't. But I don't feel like doing that right now, so I might do that off screen after this episode is over, unless I get too far and don't feel like going back and doing it. So, we'll see. Let's see, where was that trigger sequence? Hello, you. I have a letter for you. Do you want. What do you want, Koopo? Thanks for delivering the letter from Nanza, Koopo. Grimo, or Grimo, in Southgate's Bowden Station sent me a letter saying that he feel that he feels sad when he sees Mary in love. But I think he feels that way because Grimo himself is not in love, Koopo. What do you think? Hmm, I also know that Nanza is in love with Grimo. I want mail, Koopo. Oh, I thought you'd give me a letter. Okay. Going to save real quick. Alright, down this way. Grab the, this, chain plate, okay, and then there's a phoenix down to get over here, and we're going to pull this lever, pull the lever, yes, nothing happened, okay, onward, go to the southeast, alright, up here, to the north, Ah, this is it. This is this is where we call the Gargant inside. What do you mean? Gargant Roo? Trino Station is shaped like a circle. When you pull on that level lever, Gargant circles around the station continuously. I don't understand what you're saying. Better to show than to tell a princess. Will you pull that lever over there? Sure. Is the Gargant dangerous? <clears throat> well, what is it? Oh, it's cute! In a creepy sort of way. What is that? 
Ah, perfect timing. That is the Gargant, a giant insect that pulls this trolley. Next, we must halt the Gargant. Where was that lever? Okay, before we halt the Gargant, we need to do something real quick. We need to equip antibody on everybody who has it. So I guess take that off because he can't put us to sleep, the boss that we're going to fight soon. Uh, ability, Steiner, equip, do you have antibody on? You don't. Okay, well, let's do it. There. It says to remove all robes and add-ons that you want the other party to have, but, like... And I know why it's saying that, because it's going to switch parties after the after the battle, but, like, how... I just, I'm just confused. I guess I'll do that, and then I'll switch with the cotton robe, since he, she already knows all the stuff for the cotton robe, and we have two of them. Wait, do we have two of the silk ones, too? Because if so, then I'm not going to worry about it. No, we just have one. Okay. And we have Carmina's boots. Yeah. I'm just going to... Equip him with the Moonstone. Sorry. Okay, and we're gonna run over here. Feed. <clears throat> yes, that's the one. The Gargant should stop when you pull on the lever. Are you ready, Gargant? Yay, you stopped. Please hurry, it'll resume once it's finished eating. Are you sure it won't keep going around in circles? It won't. I will reverse the connection sequence and let the Gargan out of the station. Come on, Steiner. Please look after the princess, Master Steiner. Of course. The princess is bright, but she is still young and naive. I am concerned about her safety. Please make your own decisions on the matter at hand and protect her. I am but a humble knight. I cannot exceed my authority. Is that an honest answer? You may endanger the princess if you keep telling yourself that. I shall take note of your counsel. Very well, princess. Take care, Dr. Cot. I must hurry. Just pull the lever. Be safe, princess. We will try. Finally. Can we reach Alexandria now? Or we can reach Alexandria now. We can't even see Treno anymore. I wonder how long this is going to take. I never dreamed of going home in a vehicle like this. Dr. Tot remains a unique character. What the? What's wrong? It's hesitating. What is it? Dagger, why are you running off? Princess! Ugh, what the frick is that thing? Could this be the reason? Well, duh. <laughs> okay, so we need to do the tent trick again. First, you need to attack. And don't kill him yet. You need to defend. You need to steal. Ouchie, why you do? And I forgot to do the tent thing. Yay, we got a bone wrist. Potion? No, we're not going to potion you. We're going to do a tent on you. Tent on the person. And then we are going to do light magic here on everyone. No. Well, yeah, I guess. Bitten, yay. Marcus, no. Damn. Uh, that was a waste of some potion, of some MP, I mean. Because Marcus is dead.
don't attack Marcus, I will be pissed. Thank you very much. Oops, there's a timer, so when this battle's over, we will have to stop. Shut up, timer. Okay, item, potion on... Wait, no, it's Dagger's turn. Yeah, you can use Cure on him. And he's going to steal from the dude. Couldn't steal anything. Okay, I'll cut back to when we do. Yay, we got the Mithril Fork. I almost missed it. Woohoo! Now, Dagger needs to cure herself. Ouchie. And you need to attack. He doesn't have much health, so it shouldn't be very hard to kill him now. Now that we can actually attack. Everybody's slowed, but I don't really have anything that can combat that that I know of, so we're just going to attack. Except for remedies, probably, but then we'll just get slowed again. Bah, that wasn't even worth it, dagger. Yeah, you missed. Good. Come on. Die already. Attack. I was trying to see if, she could, if anybody needed healing, but nobody's hurt. So. And Steiner will heal himself. I forgot about that when I was healing him earlier. I was trying to steal stuff. <laughs> Yay! He's dead. Well, he's not dead, but he runs away. We're finally here. I think the Gargan is tired, too. Yes. Okay, well, Steiner never knew such a place existed, but we gotta go. So, in the next episode, we will continue on through this place and see where the story takes us. I want to thank you all for watching, and if you like what you see, I suggest you subscribe to my channel so you can see the new videos that I post every single day. If you really like the videos, I'd really like it if you could leave a thumbs up and a comment. That way I could have some interaction on my channel and know that people are actually watching and actually care. I will talk to y'all later. Bye bye